Well, it's Wednesday, and uh, we welcome you once again. It's time for you to be entertained mm -hmm. on your television. <laughs> the uh, destination morning. every morning, of course, is TVC, TVC Entertainment. Now, we always say this, a dose of Wake Up Nigeria is the best choice every morning. Yeah, well, it's your favorite breakfast show, and uh, we're going to be spending uh, almost three hours with you yeah. uh, this morning, 6 a.m. to about 8.45, thereabout. My name is Yomi Okwe. And I'm Titilaya Uyinsol. We're live streaming tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook live at TVC Connect. Hmm. Please connect with us. Of course, uh, send in your comments on our social media platforms, hmm. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, tell us what you think. I mean, yeah, what, you, what you're up to, are you in traffic? Mm. Uh, the traffic thing, yeah, yeah it's a big one. Mm. Uh, we always get those messages and we acknowledge them and we really, honestly, we wish we could help more. We're always trying to do things to entertain you so that your journey is a little bit better. Now you can watch us along the way if you have our mobile app on your mobile devices. Just go to the iOS or Android store, download the app and we'll be right there in the palm of your hand. All right, it's very, let's go to this uh, today's uh, highlights uh, for musical performance. First, we have uh, coming from a rapper and singer, Flappy. <laughs> on uh, home makeovers, we have Tundishan, who is going to be joining us on the show, uh, to talk to about talk about how uh, to make our homes beautiful. A little more beautiful, just those touches that make yeah. it extra special. You know, it's always great. And we have nutrition today. Nitya Haller is back. She's going to be discussing why people need to uh, be obsessing about numbers and changing their bodies. <laughs> or why they don't need to be obsessing, obsessing about numbers. Let me correct mm. myself there. <laughs> yeah. And of course, we're more than just a number. Yeah. You know. Well, now, Wednesdays are for relationships, and I'm going to allow Olua Tony Boys back with us. Uh, discussing conflict res resolutions in marriage and in relationships. That's still on uh, our Hurting and Healing series mm. uh, taking place throughout this month. It's been a big deal, that particular one. Then on to more music. We'll be having something from R&B singer Ashida. Then lastly, we'll be joined by actress Filmmaker and social media influencer Etinosa Idemudia. How are you? What is going on? Tadi? Hmm? Who the hell is she? All right. You see? So you, you guys. Say? Eh? You also so <laughs> like, you see? <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. You know, we have relationships every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're just different types of relationships. True. They're just different types of people, different types of relationships. And you can't really gauge from the outside what's really going on. You see? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of that. There is the whole assumption, <laughs> the whole Nollywood moves, you know, that whole entertaining. Um, dramatic thing, but mm. for many relationships, it's not as dramatic as all that. You know so. the funny thing? There are actually relationships that have it smooth as we read in yeah. books, as mm -hmm. we read in, uh, you know, different things we see in movies. Yeah. However, I cannot understand why they are so few and far between. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a cause of worry for me. Mm. Some people tell you, you need to work hard to build your relationship, but one person can't be doing the work. The other person also has to work. Mm. Because at some point, if you're the only one carrying a burden, you will definitely tire out. And that's what usually happens. Mm -hmm. And so that's, in most cases, what leads to uh, separation and eventually divorce in some cases. And yeah, all. it's sad. But I know mm -hmm. that. There are the increasing rates of, yeah. of, of those kinds yeah. of things. I think yeah. also, uh, most, of, most of what we see now is the fact that everyone is trying to assert their own um, uh, what they want. You know, mm. Most people are now speaking up. So if someone is not happy, they say, oh, I want to you know, yeah. go do something but else. But before so, they used to just hold it. And exactly. It. Mm. So I think more people are, are, are no longer tolerant of, uh, mm. you know, what maybe their parents accepted. Mm. So whether male or female. Mm. So mm. now you have, you have more people just saying that, you know what, I can do this. You know, yeah, getting a little ahead of myself mm. because of um, the book chat tomorrow. Oh, okay. Tomorrow's <laughs> book eh, is, is talking about this. She's from a, an abusive home. Okay. And the abuse got so bad that her father actually defiled her. Oh my goodness. 
And she always wondered why her mother never left. Mm -hmm. And her mom would go because of the children. Oh, wow. And now even her daughter has also been affected by the abuse. And so you, you find yourself wondering, mm. are people not being, in quotes, selfish? Like thinking, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want people to say I'm unmarried, what the society would do to me, how uh, people would treat me, how I'll be perceived. And it's also a big problem. Sometimes in the makeup room, some of our ladies mm. talk about their experiences living alone. Mm. And what they say, you just be like, is it because she's a single lady? Mm. She's not mm. even a married or single mom. Uh, not even married so or are single you talking mom. About good experiences living mm. alone or bad experiences? Both. Living alone? Yeah. Like, there are few people who actually have female that is, that have good experiences living alone. Mm. And it's so bad that sometimes when you go to look for a, an apartment as a single lady, they, you're they, told yeah. that you either bring a husband or they're sorry they can't give you a Oh, home. yeah, I saw that online it's, yesterday, actually. It's insane. Actually. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll talk about that uh, during, during the coffee, coffee, juice. coffee juice. But mm. uh, just the very fact that um, <coughs> yeah, woman. single women are being treated differently mm. Uh, not not just you know when they're looking for a house, but mm. also in different in different, different in, instances um, and all instances. that. Maybe if you go to a restaurant, mm. uh, or you're just they you're won't just... want to give you a particular type of table in a particular area. No 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 not that I don't what? know about that. If you have your money, they'll give you any table you want. <laughs> if you want, if you want <laughs> it's, 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 stand it's up, uh, will. sort of like okay, so you walk into a restaurant or a bar, you see a lady sitting alone, you just feel like she's a certain kind of woman. Oh yeah. I I see. Oh, you, you, you understand. So we'll talk a little bit like about that. Like something that um, else even happened yesterday. I was at the market. <laughs> we have to go to the news. We have to go to the news, Mary. But um, really interesting topics here. Hopefully we'll get comments from people online with our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. It's time for the news though. Ibrahim. All right, thanks, Titi. Now, President Muhammad Buhari has dissolved the Special Presidential Investigation Panel for the Recovery of Public Property. A statement by the Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Femi Adishina, says the Attorney General of the Federation has been directed to take over all of outstanding investigations and activities of the panel. The panel currently constituted with Mr. Okoye Bona Obla as chairman was established in August 2017 to investigate specially or specifically mandated cases of corruption, abuse of office and similar offences by public officers. The president, however, is expecting the final report of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission on the ongoing investigations of the dissolved uh, panel's chairman. The president has reaffirmed the constitutional superiority of the uh, Police Service Commission over the Nigeria Police Force. President Buhari also received the 2018 annual report of the commission. Our senior correspondent Femi Akonde reports. The commission had the most challenging assignment. Okay. President Buhari's statement may have ended the supremacy battle between the Nigerian police and the Police Service Commission. These two have been at loggerheads for a while following the recruitment of 10,000 constables by the Nigerian police. The Police Service Commission Act 2011 empowers the commission to be responsible for the appointment and promotion of persons to offices in the Nigerian police force, other than that of the Inspector General of Police. But the Nigerian police infringed on these constitutional powers of the commission. Now President Buhari says, the Police Service Commission must work to ensure the police force delivers on its responsibilities. The Commission had the most challenging assignment of carrying out oversight functions of the Nigerian police force. Government will require that you redouble your efforts and ensure that the police force receives the required assistance for optimum service delivery. I wish to see close communication and understanding between you and the Nigerian police. So the chairman of the Police Service Commission also made yeah, strong recommendations particular. that will empower the commission in the discharge of its constitutional responsibility. Top on the list of quick fixes needed is adequate funding. And I also let him know that um, we are very particular about ensuring that promotion in the force is merit-driven, has to be. Any organization that wants to get the best from personnel, you have to be sure that you motivate people to move up. People will work hard once they are sure that the best, you always benefit from promotion.
It is still unclear what will be the fate of the 10,000 constables recruited by the police force, as the Joint Staff Union of the Police Service Commission is still kicking against what they believe is an attempt to render them redundant. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. A Monday's meeting between the federal government and Labour again ended in a deadlock. This is because both parties ended the meeting without a concrete agreement. TVC News learned that government decided to step up from 9.5% to 11% for the grid levels of for grid levels 7 to 14 and 6.5% from 5.5% for levels 15 to 17. But chairman of the Labour team, Simon Akava, uh, accused the government team of foot dragging and warned it could be an invitation for industrial action. President Buhari had in April 2019 signed the 30,000 naira minimum wage uh, into law, but implementation has been stored by these differences. And that's the news update for this hour. Weather update is next. Today is uh, Wednesday, September 18, mm. and it uh, looks like uh, we are starting with the Vanguard. Yes, we are, and it says here, after apology, South Africa delays airlift of returnees. Landing permit not issued to air peace for hours. Why xenophobic attacks will not be discussed at Anga, according to Unyama. A reps to meet Buhari insist on compensation, Gwaja threatens to report foreign minister to president. It's still on xenophobia. Why South Africa must court Nigeria and others, according to Obasanjo, uh, on environmental sanitation, the illegality of forceful restriction of movement. That's uh, something you can find on page 40. Reps to reintroduce PIB estimated electricity billing prohib prohibition bill and others, according to Gwaja. And on the police recruitment crisis, Buhari wades into IGP PSC boss rift. Meanwhile, vandalized pipeline Nigeria's oil export down by 150,000 barrels per day. That's a lot of barrels. On minimum wage, uh, prepare for nationwide strike, Labor tells civil servants. Page four has more on that. On Naira Watch, Naira appreciates to 362.29 Naira to the dollar in the INE window. And finally, agencies under me take directives from president, according to Oshimbajo. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. Now, all the papers have uh, a story about Vice President uh, Oshimbajo this morning. And uh, the nation uh, is reporting that there's disquiet in the presidency over Vice President Oshimbajo. I've always complied with the law, the Vice President says, and mixed reactions to President's economic team and uh, up here, Army begins trial of ex-GOC over missing 400 million naira. Wow, soldiers on the run. And that story is on page 7. Uh, 328 Nigerians to return from South Africa today. 
and Clark cautions government. Uh, Fire says government left 57 billion naira debt, says Fiamy, and governor to clear arrears. Uh, CBN's charges on cash deposits in banks to begin. And 26 years old uh, for commissioner in Quara. Very nice. And uh, there's a story here about a woman who killed her lover uh, on page six. And uh, Africa Development Bank projects 2.4% growth. And finally, UK court hears suit on Brexit. That's what we have on the cover of The Nation. I'm going to be taking the cover of The Punch next. And it says here, 817 Nigerians waiting for evacuation in South Africa, according to federal government. Government plans to bring back 25 detained Nigerians also, it seems. On the stolen 400 million naira, right beside the masthead there, ex-GOC faces court-martial in a wheelchair. Buhari disbands Obonobla panel, transfers duties to Malami. Uh, at the top here, it says CBN begins charges on deposits withdrawals above 500,000 naira. Federal government inaugurates panel to recover 5 trillion naira ANCON debts. Submit yourself for trial, EFCC tells ex-AGF Adoke. And um, it says inflation dropped in August despite border closure, according to NBS. Um, heading to the far right here, it says uh, Abiodun invites Amosun, Akinlade's loyalists, to rejoin APC. IPOB can't attack me outside Nigeria, says Ngige. And uh, finally, Stop Obaseki, lose Edo South South, ex advisor warns Oshomole. That's what we have on the cover of the punch. All right. Well, this new government hasn't uh, started yet. Yet we're talking about 2023 already. And Northern Forces plot for 2023 presidency. A move to sideline Oshibajo. Vice President's aide relocated out of presidential villa. <laughs> it's happening already. And judicial, judiciary under threat. Usoro, NBA president, be transparent in discharge of your duties. Chief Justice charges judges. And AMCON, federal government constitutes task force to recover 5 trillion naira debt to auction 150 billion naira bonds next week. And kidnappers of Delta SAN demand 15 million naira ransom. And xenophobic attacks air peace airlifts fresh batch. Federal government rules out reporting South Africa to the UN. And finally, Buhari dissolves OBLA-led presidential committee. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Sun. Okay, so I think, do we, do we have time for Nigerian Tribune? Yeah, I think we, we do. do. Uh, it says 2023, as you mentioned before, uh, North intensifies plot to retain power. Cabal moves against Oshibajo, may target his aides, uh, agencies under me always get approval from Buhari, says uh, VP. Uh, Buhari dissolves Obonobla-led probe panel. On minimum wage, stalemate, labor set for strike, accuses government of frustrating implementation. Ex-GOC faces court-martial over missing 400 million naira, rejects choice of panel president. And, uh, well, uh, something interesting here at the top, it says federal government raises interagency task force on uh, 5 trillion naira AMCON debt recovery. Now, it also says, um, what I will do as UN General Assembly President, Professor Bandi says here, and 26-year-old, um, uh, 26-year-old yeah, okay. uh, female, core member, Quara nominate, Quara government, uh, government, or is it governor? Governor nominates 26-year-old female core member as commissioner. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we have. Uh, but there's a curious photograph on the cover of the Tribune there. Just read that to us. Uh, yeah, it says that Ikiti State Governor Dr. Kayode Fayemi, assisted by uh, Sub Eb Chairman Professor Francesca uh, Aladejana, uh, in attending a prospective pupil, Master Damilari Anthony and mother, uh, during the kickoff of public primary school enrollment exercise in uh, Ikiti on Monday. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I saw also. Uh, the uh, vice president, I think he was teaching in the classroom mm. uh, the other day. Anyway, <laughs> we have uh, The Guardian uh, the, with the headline, Government Moves to Recover 5 Trillion Naira Debts, Old Amcon. 
A loss of one trillion Naira in assets value must be probed, and Buhari disbands panel on recovery of public property. And uh, Oshibajo refutes report on control of agencies. And some other stories here. Army court marshals GOC over alleged 400 million Naira theft. Theft, like he just lifted it out of the office. And uh, federal government abandons Lagos airport facility repairs maintenance. Wow. I mean, yeah, MMIA in sorry state despite 52.5 billion Naira uh, from outbound passengers yearly. And passengers groan over poor services, extortion, collapsed infrastructure, the toilets are in disrepair. It's just really, really bad. And then down here, we have some other stories. Onyama straining executive legislative ties, says um, Bajabiamila. That's a story on page three. And NNPC joint venture partners resolve dispute, resume operations of OML 25. That story is also on page three. And fresh strike looms over implementation of new minimum wage. That's a page four story. And Christian leaders, victims of banditry, uh, protest in Kaduna. That story is on page 37. And that's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. Mm. And, uh, so many stories. I mean, this airport story is... is uh, it's, it's beyond it's unbelievable. Be, look, we've been point. trying to fix that airport for many years, year in, year out. Mm. A lot of revenue coming in, but not being properly applied yeah. to, to fix the airports. The toilets are in disrepair. Yeah. Um, air elevators, conditioners, yeah, elevators, elevators don't work. Air conditioners half the time aren't working. It's just, I don't know. I think this is just concession the entire airport. So private. I was actually going to say the same thing. Um, so, so, you know, um, there's, I, I, I visited um, a place abroad mm. where the bathrooms of the malls were privatized. Mm. So every single mall that's like government owned. So you pay to use the bathroom. So you pay to use the bathroom. But the bathrooms are just completely amazing and they're, they're you know, they're, they're set up so well. Well, they're it's, saying, it's in, yeah, so change. It's parts of the airport, change. if you privatize the airport, yeah. one of the problems is that a lot of people yeah. that are federal government workers will lose their jobs. Yeah. So that usually is the problem, which is why Labour then comes in and says, no, 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 you can't do that. Anyway, right. we it's have to go on a break thing. now and uh, be back with traffic reports in Lagos. Welcome back. Now it's time for the traffic report in Lagos. And uh, note that you can be a part of this segment by using the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Let us know where you are. And if you can see traffic from where you are, just send us a photograph as well. I've got TT and Mary in the kitchen. Uh, uh, you're me. <laughs> you guys are pretending like you're busy. Yeah, well, well anyway, we're waiting we are for getting ready for you. The updates. That's what okay, yeah. so uh, this morning I'm starting from Ojodubega. Hmm. And uh, Ojodu doesn't look so bad, um, depending on where you're going, though. For, and for some reason, uh, usually it's free on, at the beggar bus stop that's um, on the bridge, but it looks quite busy, and I, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, I think probably the construction going on um, in that area and also the fixing of the roads, leaving Lagos is quite busy right now. But if you're coming in, into uh, going t towards the island, it's, it's quite free. Ojodu Bega is free. Now, if you're going from Ojodu to Ikeja, uh, it's still, of course, it's 6.30 in the morning, so it's still kind of light. You should be there within 15 to 25 minutes, so depending on if you're on a bus or if you're driving your car. Now, if you're heading to the island, it's, uh, it's light. Uh, traffic is light from between Ojodu and Owuro. It's not too bad, not too shabby, very nice. And then uh, the third mainland bridge at the beginning is not too bad until you get to about uh, Unilago, just before, just before Adekunle, it's, it gets uh, quite tight and quite heavy. Um, so, but it's not, not too bad for a Wednesday. So if you're going from Ojo de Bega to Victoria Island this morning, it should take you about an hour. So not bad at all. Uh, maybe an hour, an hour, 10 minutes. 
not bad at all. Uh, if you're going through Ikorod Road, it, it will slightly be longer, probably an hour, 30 minutes. Um, now, on Ikorodu Road itself, as usual, all the major bus stops are busy at this time. But if you're on the express, it's lighter than if you're on the, on the service lane. So all the major bus stops, Maryland, um, um, Antony, Onikpan, Palm Grove, you know, they're all busy. But it gets really, really busy around Fadi and um, Jibo. That's when it gets really, really tight before you then get on the bridge uh, to Yaba. Hmm. Now, I don't know if you ladies have some tweets for me before I take um, another location in Lagos here. Okay, I have one here, or two or three. It's about traffic butter, and it says a yellow, okay, as we call it, first thing quoted, mm -hmm. Faragon bus hits the concrete uh, road divider and blocks uh, half of the road in front of Somu Shagamu Road in Ikorodu. Uh, so if you're a motorist in that area, it's advised to approach this location with extreme caution to avoid an accident. Uh, more here, the road is free from Maryland through Ikorodu Road, through Yaba, through Adekunle, moving traffic on 3rd Mayland uh, through Adeniji. And, uh, well, you see uh, a couple of tweets, folks uh, complaining about uh, the repairs on Oshudi, Osborne and Lagos, Ibado Expressway. Uh, happening at the same time. Mm. Well, we need good roads anyway. And finally, a broken down white bus at Irawo bus stop uh, towards Owode Oniri from Ikorodu is already causing heavy traffic, which will be worse if not towed soon. Mm. So that's about it for now. Mm. Yeah, that's what I, that was actually where I was as well. Um, All right. But okay. um, I would love to, you know, let people note that because of the rains, a lot of you know, uh, roads, the potholes are like super huge right now. Uh, it's causing traffic in places you might not estimate would even be there. So it makes sense to book another like 15, 20 minutes ahead of time mm. on some certain routes uh, as at right now because right, the rains thanks, are scattering the roads. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Titi. Just a quick update uh, from what Mary just said, uh, construction is going on. Uh, this morning when I passed by Osborne, it's, it's now f finally smooth. So that has been going on in the past one month, but now it's, um, I think, it's overnight. Because yesterday, easy. yesterday construction was still going on, but by this morning, it's nice and smooth, you know, all, all paved. You know, island roads are a bit different from... <laughs> I just wanted to throw that in. Yeah. Anyway, so if you're coming <laughs> from... Very uh, funny. Extra special <laughs> roads. If you're coming from the old toll gate, old toll gate... Uh, at the, on the Lagos Abiyokuta Expressway. It's busy there on the old toll gate, but right after that, it's not bad. So I'm got, just gonna go over the major bus stops. Ajegunle bus stop on that, uh, on that axis is busy right now. I don't know why, but it's quite heavy at Ajegunle bus stop. But right after that bus stop, it's free a little bit as you go along on the, on the expressway um, all the way to Alakuko. It starts getting busy again at Alakuko, then uh, by that Owando petrol station. I think that area is a major bus stop, so that's quite busy. But after Alakuko, it's free again. And then you keep going all the way to Moshalasi. Now, when you get to Moshalasi, you're going to spend some time in Moshalasi, approximately 20 to 25 minutes in traffic, um, all the way to F uh, Fidelity Bank, where it now frees up again. Very nice. And then for a while, it's free uh, till you get to, as you approach, um, Abulegba and all of that towards Agigi and it, it, it's not too bad but it's quite heavy so just be patient this morning as you go about your uh, your regular business uh, yeah so n not bad the traffic is not too bad all around in Lagos it's it's uh, wet in some areas where it rained but um, just be patient and I'm sure you'll get through um, all your activities for the day I'm going to be joining the ladies in the kitchen uh, in a few minutes and they're going to be talking about uh, <laughs> the challenges women go through when uh, they're looking for house they call it you had to house. start the conversation <laughs> there yomi the yeah, so conversation you is supposed it. to start here so that you guys don't forget no so that okay. we don't change the topic Abby. <laughs> you come and meet us here yeah, women looking well. for a house have you ever looked for house before ah, let us know hashtag yes, wake so. up nigeria on tvc so I, I it's so interesting that this is a topic so i started uh, renting uh, a room when, um, what, what year was that? When I started at, at Unilag, um, but of course with a roommate. And the truth is, 
it was just drama. Like everyone would just look at you like, so who is paying your bills? So who is going to make sure that you pay your bills? Well, that kind of attitude, fine. So. Being a student, oh. being a student, it's understandable. But I was a part-time student then. I was working and schooling at the same time. I was doing a part-time course and I did explain that to many a landlord and landlady. But in the end, I had to go for one of the um, buildings that was actually allocated to students uh, you know, outside the school because I just didn't have a choice. And I have a feeling a lot of people just ended up you know, well, going for, that way for school well. environment, it's not so bad. Mm. The most important thing in a school environment is your security. Mm -hmm. The getting mm -hmm. a safe place. Mm. But <clears throat> in everyday life, that's where the problem usually yeah, is. Sure, sure. As a I young lady, you want to get a, a, a place closer to work. Mm. And because you have decided that you want to move out from home and get a conveniently located yeah. place, mm. wahala. It doesn't Bring even have to husband. be. It doesn't even Bring have to be. You don't even have to give a reason for moving. Just yeah. <laughs> you can no, decide you, you have to leave alone. No, no I'm just saying. If you want to, if you just want peace of mind, you want to move out of what your parents' you house so or your so uncle's. No, no. So at this point, you have to think about the landlord side of things. Yeah, too. yeah, okay. So those landlords and landladies have been through hell with some tenants. They've been through some serious drama, and they just don't know. Sometimes they're just like, you know what? I've tried this before; it didn't work. Let me try something else. Mm. You know, so you just never know where this landlord or landlady is coming from. Yeah, in okay. the first place. I actually the damages would like to that hear. some people ha have done to some people's property that they've had to repair. Yeah. And, I actually would yeah. like to hear from because you know usually mm. when you talk like this, it's the victims or the people. Yeah. The, victims in quotes that complain mm -hmm. but let's hear from landlords as well okay yeah. so why as a landlord would you hire so a woman comes or a lady comes mm. and you ask her questions okay i work in an insurance company okay. um how much is the house maybe a two bedroom or a one bedroom and so why would you as a landlord not ha not um so allow from a woman the perspective to live in of your a house. landlord I'm so yeah so landlord, though, yeah. but i happen so, to know so many landlords okay. <laughs> from the perspective of a landlord there's the issue of payment of rent. Mm. That a woman won't be able to pay? Yes. Then there's the issue of, especially if the landlord lives with his family, mm. there's the issue of Uncle Uncle X comes on, on Monday. Yeah. Uncle Z comes, comes on, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Uncle Z. <laughs> Uncle this. So mm. it, it's, it leaves an impression on their children, so they are wary. Yeah. They, they, and that's another problem, because they would rather take bachelors that will still bring Auntie B. And and oh gosh, I didn't mean that. Bit. And TB. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. You get it. Yeah, but yeah. you know, mm. you, they, they bring in tenants mm. because they are bachelors, mm. and then you're like, the same thing is applying, but they feel less protect our girl child instead of protecting the boy child as well. That mm. this isn't the mm. way it's supposed to go. And the, this, the weird thing is, those same bachelors end up bringing in bad habits. Yeah. Um, when I Friends say bad habits, yeah, well, yeah. let's just they say come home drunk sometimes, um, come, in, come home intoxicated at all times yeah. of the night. Um, but then again, there are a lot of young ladies doing that now yeah. as well. Mm. There are a lot, there are too many of them doing that now. Yeah. Uh, trying to either, you know, they maybe give the excuse of pressures of society or whatever, mm. or who, who and what they've been exposed to, how they've been raised. So it, it, it does, it's not just because they're a lady. Mm. There are still other things behind it. Okay, so this one I heard yesterday, which I read online, I don't know if it's true or if, if that's a common common practice. So a woman goes and then she pretends like she's married. Mm. Okay. Or she goes with someone mm. just so that she can be given the house. Is, does that happen a lot? Yeah, I've yeah, heard it that. It happens a lot. Yeah. It happens a lot. Okay, so, how would you then explain, so how would you explain where your, brother, where your husband is after he, you He has in? returned to the UK, but yeah. that would increase your rent. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has traveled. He lives in Abuja. <laughs> so oh, that, yeah. that would definitely increase yeah. your rent. Right, because so there's this belief that mm. a woman who is living alone, the husband sends more money than he should if they were living together. Uh -huh. I don't know where all these things come from. Uh, it's just <laughs> an assumption. Strange, very an assumption. strange. Yeah. And that's the crazy thing. Mm. Most single ladies pay higher for rent. Yeah. Um, one of our colleagues was actually uh, talking about her experiences in her house, mm. finding out that the yearly payments for, I believe she for said electricity. security. Oh, security. So security mm. was 500 naira. So the monthly payments was 500 naira. But it took her a year and a half to realize that the 1,006 she's been paying is times three plus 100 naira of the normal amount. Mm. That other people Because in the house she's are a single lady, there's this assumption that she doesn't have responsibilities. Mm. Uh, so we can put in all our bills, you know, mm. she would pay for everything. Mm. And I think it's just ridiculous and it's very unfair as well. Mm. Very, very unfair. So I, I had to get, a, I had to move out of staff quarters um, from where I was working uh, yeah. before 
into a room in Lekki Phase 1. Now, this particular room was, is owned by a whole building owned by a, a female lawyer. Mm. Now, the only reason why that, that happened was because I had backing from the church. You know, like, like my pastor, auntie followed me there and, you know, we all prayed so together. So she's a good girl. She's yeah. a, that was the only reason. <laughs> and that, and even that though, has still be even though, even though the yeah. building was owned by a woman. Yes. Ha. So, so can you say that? Can you say what you women? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> one I wanted to tell you guys. So yesterday I was at the market, mm. and this guy started talking about a man that was harassing a young lady, uh, slapped the child. Oh. Goodness because me. the child priced some um, goods, tried to ma uh, make a bargain. He didn't like the price and slapped the child. Mm -hmm. The child fell. So they now started talking about different instances. He has done such. And next thing I heard was, it's just like that, that woman, the other day when she came to price with them, and they, the man was yelling at her, insulting her, a whole married woman, somebody that has husband at, at home. Okay. And I told the man, I just so couldn't take it. I was like, so is it because she's married, she shouldn't oh. get insulted? <laughs> It's, it, I schooled the man. Who, I was just not having it. I was like, so somebody has to be married before you respect the person. Mm. Yeah. And it's a problem in our society. Yeah. You see extra deference being given to mm. single uh, to married women over single ladies. We are all humans now. Wow. Ha -ha. This is a conversation that cannot ah. end today. But because, we'll maybe people, because people feel like she's bought and paid for. Because that's the African uh, mentality. You know how you something just crawled down my spine <laughs> from what you just said. Yeah. But we have to take a quick break. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC and let's hear what you have to say. Stay with us. Thank you for staying tuned. It's time for the very first performance of today. And this one will be by Flappy. <laughs> His name is Ishola Ola Lekon, and he's our first musical art this morning. He's a rapper, a singer, songwriter who began his career in 2014 at the age of 15 by dropping a single titled Lamba. But right this moment, he will be performing the very same song, right? No. What song will you be performing? I'm, I'm, I'm to perform Amunisheni. Amunisheni, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's my new track. Okay, so let's yeah. stick to that because that lamba is very suspicious. <laughs> so how did you come up uh, about um, Flappy? Yeah, 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 is it pronounced Flappy or Flappy? Because you know, there's always a street lingua. Uh, the the real pronunciation is Flapping. Flapping. Yeah, F-L-A-P-P-I-N-G. Oh, okay. But when I was in school, like <laughs> my secondary school, yeah. then my friend was like, Guy, you be you know they use flappy jerry, it's it's a flappy, something like that. I was like, okay. Chai, and I love these man. This flappy is sound so, unique and I love that. That became your MC. Yeah no, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with your ears. My ear. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That was part of it. You know yeah, when yeah. you're small, sometimes a part of your body will just be bigger than the rest and you don't understand. <laughs> but it's a good thing you've grown into it, which is quite nice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's you've cool. been doing music for so many years. What has it been like for you? Yeah. Music has been like a lot of things, mm. like a tough time, mm. some challenges. Mm. They pass through. Me and my manager goes to show, embarrassed sometimes, won't be able to perform. Mm. But all the best. Mm. We still, we still making out. So if like, you were to have out. a collaboration with any artist, like someone says to you, you know what? Choose any artist, and you can do a collab with that person. Who would it be? I would love to do a collaboration with Olamide Bado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So you, you prefer doing songs <laughs> with uh, Olamide? Yeah, Olamide. You know, most people will go Debido, Whiskey. So why Olamide? <laughs> yeah, Olamide is my mentor, my role model. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I grew what up listening to him. you like the most? Yeah, I love Olamide. The fact that <laughs> number one is an, like he's a rapper. Okay, and you're a rapper? About, yeah, I'm a rapper also. When we're talking about rapping, like Olamide, hardcore is ah, eh. I love wow. Eh, eh. <laughs> I love what he's darling, like his <laughs> culture, like Yoruba, use it, like using Yoruba mm. to be doing something, creativity. I really love that. Fantastic. Lot, yeah. So I want to believe you're going to give us something really creative with Amoni Shini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Amoni Shini truly is a true life story. Okay. I'm waiting, story, so. uh, no I'm waiting to hear that story now. No problem. No problem. No problem. So it's flappy, ladies and gentlemen. Performing Amunisheni. Let's go. It's not Amunisheni, it's Amunisheni. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Mama, tell me, give another lap. Oh, I'm going to make your daughter go pray. I do. But, Johnny, you have a thousand. All my stats, we step. 
All right, now that's a great way to start the morning. Uh -uh. You know what, I've been bumping, bumping, bumping so far and so good, we have our chef back in the building. I know you, you've been preparing your intro. Um. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do this intro. Hi, good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be back today. Mm -hmm. And today I'm going to be doing, last week I did healthy meal. Mm. Today we're going to eat some spaghetti meatballs. Uh, okay, let's open all these up so that people can see what we're talking about. Spaghetti and meatballs right here on Wake Up Nigeria. So we've, we've seen spaghetti, we've seen meatballs, but we've never seen your own. So let's go through the ingredients. Ooh, look at that spread. Wow, 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 wow. All right then, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's start from over here. What are so our main we ingredients? We have the spicy pepper, tomato, blended tomato and, um, and um, pepper. Okay, yeah. okay. Then I have some bell pepper, red, yellow, cherry tomatoes. Yeah. In here is meatballs. I have paprika, yeah. garlic. Okay. I have some cubes, mm. some chili pepper, and some salt. Okay, so and these have all curry. been measured. This is what you're going to use. This is what I'm going to use, oh. and I have used already here. Okay, beautiful. So uh, is this oil. olive oil yes. or vegetable oil? It's olive oil. Olive oil, yeah. fantastic. And your vegetables are... Some coriander, spring okay. onions for garnish, and some carrots. Okay, so coriander, why coriander? Why not, you know, some other spice? Okay, so basically this meal I'm making, I'm making it a hot curry okay. uh, meatball mm -hmm. sauce. Yeah, yeah. So I marinated it with the hot curry coriander and okay. some hot curry powder. All right, let's so talk a bit about, like about the meat as well. So this meat, is it just the average uh, minced meat you can find in the supermarket or what? Yes, it's just a regular minced meat. Okay, can you show us what you, you did with it? Okay, so um, the minced meat here, mm. I marinated it mm -hmm. with some onions, okay. some maggi, some garlic, coriander, hot powder, curry powder, okay. and then some cubes, that's all. Okay, so you just, did you? And then I rolled it through. How did you bowl. get them to stick in that ball shape? Um, so basically, you just have to make sure your hands are clean. Okay. Take your balls, the size you want. Basically, I like to make my size equal. So is it how you measure it? Yeah. Or you already yeah, aware with what you you're doing? You could pick one up. You could pick yes. one up. Yeah. So we have that. <laughs> okay. And then I have it on my hand like that. Okay. And roll then. it round. Beautiful. And then I go like that. Too. And it should stay. You don't need and to then use still, anything. I don't need to do anything. All right. Except I need to do something else. And then I can do an egg wash mm. or with like flour or something before I do it. But regardless of that, I just need it plain like this. Beautiful. Okay, so what's our first thing to do now? What's the first thing we're going to um, do? We're going to put the spaghetti on fire. Okay. The olive oil in the pan. Okay. And then we're going to make start making the spaghetti. Some pepper. Onions and some tomato All paste. Right. I remember. So that. let's go. Let's start. Let us begin. I like the way um, you know you've already done these vegetables, but I have a feeling you're going to chop them in a special yes. way too later on. So while those pans are heating up, maybe we should just get chopping. Okay. So I'm not going to chop that now. Okay. Because I have to concentrate on putting the spaghetti on fire first okay. Okay. and then make the meatballs. Then okay. while I'm cooking the meatballs, I'll chop it and then throw it in. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So uh, these are already pre-chopped yes. onions, coriander. This is um, uh, spring, spring onions, onions and carrots. carrots. Yes. All right. So we'll definitely be um, hurrying through the spaghetti, but I can see you've sort of parboiled yes. it already. Yes. Why, why did you uh, so, parboil it? So, um, I parboiled it to reduce the starch in it. Oh. And also, I did it at home so that it can be faster. Okay. So, All I just right. parboiled it this morning. And then I put some cold water to make it cold. Because I want to make it um, very right. adante, called chewy, basically. Okay. It's a okay. French word for chewy. All right, adante. then. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Okay, so al dante pasta, <laughs> vegetables, meatballs. We're going to Italy today. We have to take a break. We'll be back.
All right, so far so good. What's your morning been looking like so far? Mm. Ours has been great though. Yeah, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC to let us know what your morning has been like. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if it hasn't been good, don't worry, it's about to get better. Mm. Mm. You know, you know, once you turn, once you turn the middle of the month after yeah. the fifteenth, yeah, you start holding off a dear life <laughs> for many people. <laughs> Uh, especially yeah. during school fees month. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we understand. Gary. We get it. We totally understand what, what you're mm -hmm. going through. Mm -hmm. But thank you for tuning in this morning. My name is Yomi Owope. And I'm Titi Lai Oyinso. Now we're live streaming on tvcentertainment.tv. That's our website. And of course, Facebook at, face, at TVC Connect. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. And sending your yeah. comments using our social media, uh, on our social media platforms, uh, mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. And then you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. And we have a, a hot topic this morning. Yes, we do. Uh, ladies trying to get house. House. How yeah. do women get house these days? <laughs> How do you do it? Have you t have you told a lie? Do you send and your, yeah, your elder brother to go and do exactly. it? Exactly. So yeah. so <laughs> let us know what, what you did. All right. Now we have an app available for you to download. Please make sure you do that as soon as you can for Android and iOS stores. Please watch us from anywhere in the world right there in the palm of your hand. Ah, for another delish recipe. Mm. Chef Yei Day is back. Mm -hmm. And uh, she already told me that, you know, she's, she's not really happy that I'm not in the kitchen wow. uh, today. So I'm just letting... That's a lot. I thought... What are you doing? <laughs> eh? You in the kitchen. When there are two females here. You well, know, see, because As she knew she knew how helpful I was last week. Yeah. Wow. Like, I didn't allow her lift you know, anything. When you started talking, I thought you were going to give me some mad compliment. You know, like, oh, we know Titi's got her back oh, and everything. Yeah, but I jealous. should have known. All the, no, I did jealous. all the heavy lifting last week. Wow. You know. Okay, you know what? You're not coming back to this kitchen. Wow, I'm well, taking over. Don't worry, Mary. I know where you live. <laughs> but it's fine. We have to tell people what's happening <laughs> on the show today. And, of course, uh, on our home makeover, Tunde Shano is, is back with us. Um, yes, so from the exclusive lifestyle. Now, he's going to be discussing more ways to beautify our homes. Mm. Yes, indeed. He talked about bedrooms last week. I was really interested in what he had to say. Now, guess what? Nitya Haller is back. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been away uh, for some time. But, she was uh, here last week. Oh, oh, okay, well. <laughs> a, week, a week before then. But um, yeah. when it comes to. Uh, those numbers, everybody's calling numbers, calories, you know, yeah. kilograms and all that. Are we not more than just numbers when it comes to nutrition? We yeah. need to understand what's behind those numbers. Exactly. She's so maybe us. maybe you shouldn't be jumping for joy when you lose one kilogram. Yeah. After well, six months. Yeah, I lost two kg and it was <laughs> it was a thing of joy for me. But maybe I, the joy was misplaced because mm. maybe it's come back. Maybe it's not. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> moving on in in the hurting and healing series, Damilola Olua Toibo. Uh, he's going to be discussing conflict resolution in marriages and relationships. Yes, indeed. Then we have some more music, people. R&B singer Ashidakbo is going to be here bringing us a second musical performance right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And uh, guess what? Um, actress, social media influencer, filmmaker, uh, Tinosa Idemudia is joining us on the show today for an appearance. Yes, indeed. You can't do that. Why not? Wow. What, what you said about numbers. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You got me laughing because yeah. you said we are not just about numbers, but there are some societies that you are identified by your numbers, <laughs> not oh, by your name. Goodness <laughs> me. And then you're talking That's about the one. 2 kg you, you yeah. lost. Yeah. So I, I did so, that 2 kg. Yeah. <laughs> so it actually be listening, you know. No, it actually did yeah, but a listen, lot to for, your self-esteem. <laughs> no, not even my self-esteem. So I noticed differences in my wardrobe. There were some outfits I couldn't wear before that I'm wearing now. There were some, you know, support systems I had to put under those outfits before that I don't need to put under anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know about those bulletproof vests. The funny thing is, wear. somebody announced in a meeting that yeah. she lost 5 kg yeah. in a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Titi, when I lost 2 kg, yes. and then she said, I've been trying since January. And yeah. I lost okay, 2 Okay, so you know what? So those things that women wear, they're called <laughs> yeah. scaffolding. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> scaffolding. Please, let's just really? read the news. This they're is called bulletproof so vests. What sometimes. do you mean by that? Oh, okay. But the truth uh -uh. is, I didn't need to wear them after, <laughs> after that. And it's been a steady decline. I haven't talked about it yet, but I've lost another 2. 
since then. Oh, so, so it's four kg since four January. Kilo, okay. Yeah. Okay. While they are talking about kilograms, can we just Steady decline. take it to the news, Ibrahim? And uh, well, it's interesting what we're making today. We're going to Italy. And she has Both. spaghetti and meatballs a la yede. Yeah, so. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. What are so, we doing next? Uh -uh. I've been waiting for You're you. You're the chef now. So we're going to do You're asking me questions. <laughs> Don't ask me. I just want to eat the food. I want to eat the food. You so, know what? I can see what you've been doing here. You've been chopping these carrots and these yes. veggies. So and here, they look really interesting, actually. Yes. Your knife skills are on point. Ah, ah, what's I going try. On? What's that? What are you um, I'm putting some paprika now. What was in there before? Just the, the Onions tomato? Onions and the tomatoes. Okay. Cool. No pepper? And some pepper as well. Okay. It's blended okay. together already. Beautiful. So everybody has some blended pepper in their fridge you yes. know, that they keep. So you're saying I can use the same one I use for my normal stew? Yeah. So basically, this spag is like jollof spaghetti. Mm. Mm. But you know, Italian make like plain spaghetti and all that. So, all right. so you can use any pepper. You can use any blended pepper you have. Any leftover pepper you have, you can join them together and use it and to work. What's this? Some garlic. Garlic. Minced I, garlic. I can see something green in it. Yeah, though. that's the coriander. Okay, the coriander. Fantastic. Yes. So is that going in now? Yes, it's going. I'm going to pop okay. it in there. You're looking for a... I have it. Right. Okay, fantastic. All right, so um, this is a little garlic, not much. Because I already had some garlic in here. Uh -huh. I don't want to have too much garlic in it. Me, I like garlic. Cool. It's been nice. Just in case it's me you're cooking for you. Know. Really? Later, okay. later, later. I'm just <laughs> telling you. I'm informing you ahead of time. I love garlic. All those special too. meals that you're planning to send to my house, you know, just because you love me. I have this amazing garlic, garlic sauce inside. that I make. It's with shrimps mm. and fish. Mm. It's a pot of fruit. You have to come and try it in the bistro. So when you woke up this morning, you felt spag and meatballs. Actually, I thought about it yesterday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it yesterday. I'm like, what am I going to do? Okay, so last time was healthy food. Yeah. The other time was a nice um, yeah. pita bread. And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let's do, let's go a bit heavy this morning. Let's do some meatballs and spaghetti. All right. So, um, I'm going to put, pop in the, the, okay, the cubes. Spikes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The stock cubes mm. go in next. How many are we using? I'm using two. All right. Then I can check it out later to see if there's anything needed. All right. And so, I'm going to add some of the salt as well. So a lot of people, once they use stock cubes, they, they don't use salt, but you're using both. Yes. Is, isn't it like a little much? No, it's not going to be too. That's why I, I um, reduced the amount of cubes that I used. Okay. And then I also had a little bit of salt. Because basically for me, if you cook with only salt, you can mm. manage to eat it. Okay. Like, it would be nice. That's yeah. for me. Yeah. But if you cook with only maggi, you have some kind of, only cubes, you have some kind of sweet yeah. taste. That you, so you have to blend it a bit with okay. some. All right, all right, all right. Joining the two together is really nice. So um, this spaghetti is staring at me like this. I don't know. Are we, are we adding this directly into the sauce? Yes. All right. Soon we're going to put that. But I'm going, to have, I'm going to pop in some oil in here. Oil. And then we can do the meatballs. Beautiful. All right. Just a bit. So olive oil straight in the pan. Yeah. A little. All right. And then. And we can pop in this. So is there any special style of doing this that, so I feel like once you put uh, meatballs in a pan, okay, you're picking them one one. Yes. I was going to say. So that it doesn't scat, it doesn't go everywhere. Stick together mm. or scatter, right? I'm just going to use. Use your hand. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. I just, one minute. <laughs> I try to be careful all the time because it's not everybody that likes to see you put their, your hand in their oh. food. They're like, no, don't oh put your hand in my food. Jehovah. Give this one. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Just go ahead with the meatballs. Um, how long are they going to spend in the oil? Like five, ten, five to seven minutes. All right. Five to seven minutes. This is a very short, sharp, sharp meal you're making for us today. That's because I did all the old prep at home. So imagine <laughs> all these things and all the ingredients that had to go inside it. Mm, mm. You just see a meal prepared. You don't know how much ingredients had to go in one pot. Mm, now I'm mm. going to pour this bag in here. And she's pouring parboiled spaghetti straight into the sauce. And once you hear that sound, you know that we have to take a break. But you know she got our back and our stomachs too. Always. We'll be back after this. It's still Wake Up Night. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, it's, uh, we're going to be talking about food and weight loss with Nitya. Now, Nitya Hurler is a certified nutritionist 
and a fat loss expert. Now, she's going to be talking about people's obsession with weighing scales and how it affects you mentally. In other words, you are more than just numbers. Nitya, uh, we were talking about this earlier on the show, mm -hmm. and uh, I was saying to Titi, who you know, was talking about, yeah. I lost one kg. And there are certain people who, when they start going to the gym, you know, they finally back to the gym after maybe a few years, and yeah. every single day you weigh yourself. You say, okay, <laughs> yes. I'm 80. I'm 79 yeah. and all of that. But you are saying all of that doesn't matter. Why? No, it doesn't. Because I think weight is something that does not just get onto you physically, but you hold on to it emotionally and mentally as well. I've seen many women who start their day with having scales in their bathroom. So the first thing they do is they step on the scales. And let's say they've had their dinner outside mm. and they're like 200 grams higher then uh, their whole mood is spoiled. And it's not just their mood, you know, the way they feel about themselves, their self-esteem, everything goes down. Yeah. So I think it's very important to get that balance, to not measure your self-worth with the numbers that you see on the scale. Mm. Because um, the scale does not just give you your weight, it just gives you your mass. So it does not tell you if you are reducing fat or muscle. It just says right. you're reducing weight. Mm. That could just be probably water weight. So that's the reason you should not rely totally for on, your health on, on the weight on, on the weight, because yeah. it, it doesn't actually, it doesn't tell you actually what you have reduced or increased in. Exactly, and that's how fat diets makes, make most of their money, mm. because they just tell you that they're going down, they, they'll help you go down five kgs, mm. but they never tell you if it's going to be water weight or muscle or fat. Mm. So that's the reason I always tell my clients that, you know, as much as possible, depend on yourself, to know how your body feels mm. rather than depending on a machine that fluctuates that you know dep that that's basically working on batteries mm. so um, try and just understand factors like how good your sleep is how good your mood and energy is mm. as compared to the digits on the scale mm. okay so w when you when you start thinking about numbers how do you relate with numbers because i think that's probably one of the areas we should uh, look at as well. Yeah. So, so if, no for instance, I, I, I see maybe last week I weighed 75 kg, yeah. and then this week I'm weighing 73 or 72, how do I relate with the numbers so that it doesn't affect my mood or it doesn't affect the way I'm feeling, yeah. whether, you know, I mean, if so, if it's increased, I'm feeling all I've added weight or if it's reduced and I'm a bit joyful. So True. how do I relate with the numbers? So normally what I do is uh, I have something called a fat analysis machine and I'd be very happy if you could step onto it at some point. Okay, so, so this is a, <laughs> so this is this a fat is not analysis a scale. machine. Yeah, it, it, it's more than a scale. So right. it just doesn't give you your weight, but it gives you your fat and your water percentages. Oh, wow. So okay. it basically um, gives me an idea of how your body is internally as compared to just how much your body weighs, mm. which could be anything on any particular and, day and this uh, analysis machine is able to uh, check your fat that percentage oh, wow, so okay. let's say you are losing two kgs like Titi was saying she lost two kgs I want to know if that's pure fat or muscle ha so we should get Titi in here. <laughs> we should get Titi in here so that you yeah, know, so because she's been all you know. By, so it's very she actually lost four kg since over six that's months. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, that's amazing. but we need to now find out whether it's, it's fat or muscle because or maybe that's just the water that she's getting rid of. <laughs> no, from I'm body. sure that's not. She's put in a lot of hard work. And yeah. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So really, yeah. So you were saying. So that's what. So basically, that's something the fat analysis machine really helps. Mm. So always look for going to machines that can measure your body composition. As, uh, as opposed to just your weight. Mm. And the second thing I totally rely on is my tape, my measuring tape, mm. because your waist circumference says a lot about you. Mm. So your waist circumference should be half the amount of the inches that you are in terms of your, in the same, in the same measurement. Mm. So let's say you're about 60 inches, that's five feet, but you're not, but I'm just saying, yeah. uh, your waist should be less than 30. Oh, yeah. right. So, okay, so it should be less than half less than of half your height. Of your, your height. Your, the, the width of, of the circumference of your, of your waist. Exactly on your belly button. Yeah, it should be less than half, half of the height. Of, of your height. Yes, because that's basically... Okay, uh, that's going to be tough for, for many yeah, people. <laughs> it is, because yeah. that's a major indicator. If you put on weight over here, it's basically uh, fat around your organs. Mm. So the, the functioning of the organs reduces. Mm. And that's when you get diabetes, type 1 or type type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, thyroid issues, all mm. of that starts off only when your belly starts becoming bigger. Mm. So, uh, so, th th so it's a key indicator that people should look out for yes. 
when you know because once you begin to widen yeah. you then know that okay i need to pay attention to the belly area i'm now proper, yeah. um, properly uh, probably putting on fat in, in that area in so that how do i then deal with it because sometimes most people say all i just need to do is hit the gym exercise yeah. uh, without paying attention to their diet and their, all the lifestyle issues yeah like you know there's something that someone does just said that 70% of your abs are actually made in the kitchen Hmm. So it's basically what you eat also has a major effect on how your body is internally and if you want to really focus on your belly you need to make sure that you know the carbs the, the timing of your carbs your activity level all of that is very clearly monitored hmm. also at the same time i feel that uh, having too much of a very high uh, high carb dinners that you know many of us do we are very tired we don't eat anything for lunch and we hmm. go home and we have like a big portion of eba or anything mm -hmm. that's very heavy or uh, we can't sleep properly and at the same time it all accumulates near the tummy because mm. your body is not functioning after there's no right. active functioning mm. after mm. so that's the reason i think you need to balance out all the meals and uh, like i said i think it's very important that you use your waist circumference as a health indicator as mm. opposed to just your weight yeah so that's that's really really important but yes. uh, you know uh, now that you're talking about the weight itself and you know having having a balance is there are there numbers or are, are, are there indicators that you then used to say, okay, this is the amount of fat I should have in my body, this is the amount of muscle, so, and this is the amount of water? True. So normally, according to this scale, 50% is the amount of the water percentage in your body that you should be having. If mm. you have more, you may, have, you may be bloated or you may have water retention. Mm. If you have less, that just means you're not drinking enough water. Mm. So 50% 50 water. 50%, yeah. yeah. And for men, if you're looking, because men are more muscular in nature, uh, that's how their bodies are, uh, we need anywhere between 17 to 22% fat hmm, in okay. the body, anything so above. So 50% and then 22%. That's 20%. already 72% Yes, yes. The, the because this machine just looks at the fat yeah. and the water, the muscle and all that, you need, a, you need more complex machines. Mm -hmm. uh, but I look at something that's very simple, that's mm -hmm. very realistic and easy to understand for anybody. For women, we are looking at anywhere between 23 to 26% because when women hit menopause, they anyway put on a lot of fat. Mm -hmm. So 26 is the maximum that a woman should go with her fat levels. Mm -hmm. She should try and get it somewhere there at least. Mm -hmm. So that would include, I don't know, like different kinds of workouts, being very active, at least I mean, having... And of course, eating properly. Like eating properly, said. yes. So, uh, so I'm thinking, sh should, I, should I step on this or shouldn't Great. I? <laughs> but let's see how... Uh, Let me just keep it this, this side. Okay, on this side. So that side. you have space. I, I don't know if the camera can see us. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, your age? My age? <laughs> yeah. Okay, 42. Okay, <laughs> sorry. And your height? Uh, six one. So six I'm not sure one, how you're right. gonna, yeah. That's around 178. Okay. So I get... I step on the scale. Step on the scale. And just stay on it. So step down, yes. Yeah, so that's so uh, like you can see that fifty one point four is your hydration levels. Right. Twenty nine. So, so I'm good with hydration. You're good with hydration. Yeah. Twenty nine point seven is your fat percentage. Okay. You can always go down. Okay. And I can go down um, really. your weight is around eighty eight. Mm. Yeah. So it basically gives you an internal understanding of what your body is made of, which mm. is very important. Yeah. As compared to just just eighty seven, you could be eighty seven and twenty two percent. I'd be totally okay. Very but, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very so nice, that's very that's nice. what's most important. Uh, Anita, this is absolutely amazing. Thank and you. Uh, well, so don't pay too much attention to those uh, numbers on the scale. Don't let them get you depressed on a Wednesday morning, uh, because it might just be an indication of water, or, you know anything else and thank you so much Nisha for thank joining you. us this thank morning you for and for giving us some insight in that we're going to be back uh, shortly after this yes indeed now thankfully you didn't catch me while I was you know licking my fingers <laughs> thank you director for giving me the chance to clean myself up I've been having so much fun in this kitchen chef Yeji Day is back bigger and better now she mm -hmm. is making something really sweet for us uh you called it spaghetti and meatballs yes right i said hot curry spaghetti meatballs hot curry spaghetti and meatballs yes, and she's showing us her knife skills there but 
Um, we also have these ingredients, garlic, onion, hot curry, spaghetti, minced meat, bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, yes. stock cubes, <laughs> paprika, olive oil, and uh, what's that, coriander? Or cumin, cuminanda, I don't know what that coriander. is. Coriander. Coriander, chili pepper, and of course, tomato paste. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Now, uh, I wish that I had been better prepared for, you know, how this was going to make me hungry. I would have told them, please don't put me in the kitchen today. But these, your knife skills are on point, though. I'm just, I'm Where did trying. you learn this? Hmm? Okay, in my school. I studied in the Westminster Kingsway College in London. Beautiful. So it's part of our um, thing mm. to learn knife skills. Okay. It's important that you mm. know how to chop mm. first. All right, so um, there is a particular way you rock the knife on the chopping board um, that a lot of people don't know. I've, I've done this before, but I've lost a few fingernails with it. Oh, too. yes. I can still show you some marks. Yeah. From there. <laughs> but that is the proper way to chop pepper anyway. Right? Yes. Um, then when it comes to size and so thickness. So you, you have to follow the, tie, the size. That's why you have yeah. your hand like that. Okay. To be sure of what you're trying to get. Okay. So if you're getting that, you have to go like that. Okay. Your hand, and then go like that. So your nail just... Keeps moving while you cut, so you don't cut yourself. Beautiful. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, don't worry, I'll learn eventually. Uh, not that I really like, <clears throat> like chopping anything. I have a machine that does all that now. I have, and it's like cheating, but it's hey. easy. Yeah. They're making life so easy. Mm -hmm. There's this thermometer as well that you can use to make everything. You can make mayonnaise, you can make anything. Oh, wow. In, um, in the bistro, in Kuti Bistro, we always use it. Okay. Well. Beautiful. And it makes So it red and yellow peppers straight in with the, the meatballs. meatballs. You cook those meatballs for about 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah. they're about. Yeah. With olive oil. Yes. For those that are just tuning in. With you pour oil. the al dente spaghetti straight into yeah. your... Tomato sauce, the fried tomato sauce. Beautiful. I love the movement on that spaghetti. Do you want to try it, Titi? I, I actually do, but you know, I don't know if I'm going to get a query after. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. The way queries fly sometimes, you have I'm to sure be careful. I'm sure it's fine, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't be able to speak if I taste it now, so I have to keep talking. Okay. That's, you know, that's the job part. So you know. have to take very little so no, you can talk. No, no, no. I, I don't out me like this now. Don't worry, later, later. We'll okay. talk, we'll talk. So uh, are we pouring anything else yes, into... Yes, so we're going to pour that into this. But it's when it's almost ready, so we can serve with it. Are you waiting for the pepper to look a certain way? No, no? Just, uh, just to... Um, sweat out a bit. Okay. All right. Just sweat the pepper a yes. little. You removed all the seeds. Is there any particular reason? I like seeing seeds in my pepper. Well, like, for like this seeds. meal that I'm making, I do not need the seed inside. It. Mm. That's why I removed it. Is it true that the taste of the food is different when the seeds are added? It just means that you have a lot of substance in your mouth that you chew. Oh. Okay. Rather than when you have it like that and you just chew that. And it's always like... Mm. Like some kind of substance that disturbs mm -hmm. your mouth. All right. So you're adding tomato to this Cherry soon, tomatoes, right? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm a big fan of cherry tomatoes. You're um, a big fan of they're... everything. I would love to cook for you. Oh, like... oh my God. Let me just move and start cooking for you. It seems like they're yeah, <laughs> easy to cook for. So I, I love seeing colors, veggies, um, crunchy, crispy things. Yeah, I love all that. And I love one pot dishes so this feels like a one pot dish you put everything inside one pot yeah. and it's all done am i right mm -hmm. like so. the shashuka <laughs> okay all right mm, something smells good it smells nice huh something smells really good so you're adding some spice again no that's fine i already have everything in. all right so while you're doing this we're making our kitchen look very colorful. Someone that you need in your life uh, is uh, Mr. Tunde Shanu. He's going to help you make your house look a little bit better. And he's there with Yomi, and it's time for our homemaker segment right now. So Mary. I feel like I just changed personalities. Yeah. 
So this is Mary or Mitzi. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> All right, it's time for us to talk about something really interesting, talking about home makeover. And uh, Tunde Shanu will be schooling us as he began last week. Thank you so much for being here, Tunde. Thank you for having me again. Okay, so last week we talked bedrooms. This week we're talking about the exterior. Yes. Yeah, so tell me about this. Uh, for the exterior, we basically are looking at uh, colors that represent you and that represent that um, blend into your environment. So I'm say, not understanding. I thought <laughs> what you can paint your house in, uh, with any color. No, outside. not really. You have to take into cognizance your, the, your environment, the colors in your environment already, saying that the, co the colors of your, the, the streets, the lamps, the lightings, the... So you choose the color of yes, your house outside. Yes, yes, yes. You need to take all those into cognizance. Ah. Yes. You don't want to do a color that, that will now be looking strange compared to everything already in your environment. So you have to take all these things into color uh -uh. Yes. So my neighbor painted his house brown. The other one green. The other one uh, maybe dark purple. And then I decided to go for a bright pink exterior. Have I committed a crime? Excellent. You, that, 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 would, that would have been the best color to go for because those colors were not so bright. Hey, hey, so you stand bit, out. You yes, so that's why, that's, why, that, that's why I consider <laughs> all that. That's why it's necessary to take it that all into cognizance. Bottom line is that you want your house to shine. You want it, you want it to stand out. You want people to see it and take notice. Mm. So basically, you have to consider all those things before you choose your color. So, be, so that you make your house stand out. But what if you don't want it to stand out? So it doesn't look still attractive take, to certain still take, You still take it into consideration, the colors around you. Okay. They now look for like a toned down color okay. to choose. Let's say uh, you don't want to be known. You can choose like a that gray, okay. don't, don't do any bright colors. Okay. But what has this got to do that. with your personality? It has a lot, for, just the idea of, I don't want people to notice me. That's a personality type. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's a, the idea of, huh, I want people to know that I've arrived. That's a personality. That's another, what if it's a case of, I want to have my house match all the houses around? Is that also a personality? says a lot of are you serious person. what kind of person yes. does that make you yeah you know like like i said last week i said colors uh, determine your mood mm -hmm. then again color says a lot about the type of person that owns that particular apartment just by looking at the exterior yes wow yes color we, we, no a lot of things come a lot of factors come into play okay. in terms of psychology now determining colors now determining that other things to come into play, but color, one part of it is color. Okay. You can tell a lot about a person just by the kind of colors th they have around them. On a lighter note though, you yes. can't tell your landlord to change the house color. <laughs> That's why we're not talking about, we're talking about your own personal, personal space. space. Yes. Okay. Okay. So saying that if the building was yours, uh -huh, you can decide on whatever color you want, or if you've listed for a certain amount of time, I think they, you, you'll be permitted to change the colors. So to there's no limits to what colors you can actually paint the exterior of your house. That's what you're telling me. Yes, there is. There's there is none. No, there's no limitations. Because we are used to people have People have their colors. preferences. Like, um, I'm very sure a lot of us here in this part of the world, if someone says, I'm going to paint my house red, people will like, Give the person a glare yeah. like red. But, but houses have started being painted shades of red. Yeah, it's allowed. It, 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 yes, it, like uh, uh, so. I'll, personally, if I see how uh, someone uh, that lives in a red, bright red house, yes. naturally in my mind, I'll, I'll I'll understand that that person is a, like a vibrant person, a fierce person, someone that is not afraid to take chances, someone that is lovely to be around. It tells me so much about that person. Wow. Someone yes. that is not scared of people running away from his house. You yeah. <laughs> more, more, no, people, uh, we have some psychological limitations in this part of the world because we, we believe in, we attach so many sentimental things We're to... talking about red and black here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. I yeah. understand what you mean. I understand what you mean. Thank you so much. Uh, so basically what we've learned from this is we can use absolutely any color Your to paint 
the outside, the exterior of our house. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. So if you're working on your house right now, you have an idea of what to do with your building, okay? Thank you so much, Cindy Shannon. Thank you for having me once again. All right, folks, uh, we will take a break and return shortly. Wake Up Nigeria continues on the other side of the R. Stay with us. Excellent Wednesday to you once again. Yes, we are still here. Guess what? Two hours has gone by already. As in chop, wow. Chop, 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 chop. We've had performances, something amazing going on in the kitchen. You guys, yeah, you what? guys are. What? We're having fun. I think you're always in the kitchen when, when you know, the best food is being made. Look are at that. Serious? Look at that. Look at that. See, yeah, look at that. That's some colorful food right there. And um, I can say it doesn't taste so bad at all, you know. Just, um, just trying to make you jealous out there. I that pot was full it. just a moment ago. No, really. So you've been in the kitchen. Uh, I yeah. have a very large smile on my face and no other comments on that. So moment. Titi has had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but because of you, I had to taste it to make sure that you get the best. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, deserve right. the best that life has to offer. Yeah, yeah. And this, she didn't make any offers to me, though. <laughs> Now, the next one hour, uh, the next 45 minutes mm. uh, promises to be interesting. My name is Yomi Oke. And I'm Titi Laya Oin. So please stream with us. We're on uh, tvcentertainment.tv. And of course, uh, hey, you can watch us live at TVC Connect on Facebook as well. We're yeah. especially looking forward to what uh, the chef has planned in the kitchen, mm. but so much more as well. Yes, indeed. Now, of course, uh, our app is always available for you if you have to be on the road or out of the country or whatever, and you can download it on any Android and iOS store. Yes, indeed. Guess what? We still have relationship talk to talk today. We have Damnola Oluwa Toimbo back in the building once again. The topic is resolving conflict in relationships and marriage. Mm. Now, you know, he has, always has an interesting take on it. Yeah. You know, he's one of those people that we can always rely on to give us an interesting perspective on relationships. And then we'll bring you more music, this time from Ashidako, who is uh, an R&B and pop singer. Mm -hmm. Look, 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 look for your body. And then also joining us very soon is actress, filmmaker, and internet sensation, Etinosa Idemudia. Like myself. Hey, listen, I, I'm trying to make you understand something. My, my woman is- Your woman must be as beautiful as you are handsome. And that is why I take it upon myself. Now she's always fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Always super always funny. Excited. Yeah. <laughs> Always okay, something so going on. Bro. I wanted to give you guys the days of the year. Yeah, Things happen today. We always look forward to this. Yeah. What uh, day is it today, Mary? Cheeseburger day. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, oh. Today is also water Nitya monetary Hale has not day. even reached her car. <laughs> You're water already money. telling us Don't about, tell anybody uh, about cheeseburgers. I'll never forgive you. Wow. Did you weigh yourself? I didn't get to, sadly. <laughs> I had to, you know, stand by in the kitchen yeah. and I think sure. it, that the skill would have grown, so it's a good thing. Really? Yeah. But I actually think yes. I, I weigh less than Yomi, at least, anyway. Yeah. yeah. I, weigh I, I, I actually weigh the same as Yomi. <laughs> You're tall. You're tall. Yeah, Mary. but I weigh the same You're as Yomi. You're taller than me. Yomi's weight... What? was so good even his fat level was 20 something oh yeah my, my fat you know it's just when my fat level was given to me sometimes, i thought i was skinny sometimes eh, i don't know you're me i don't know sometimes okay so there was this conversation we were having off air one day we were like you, you're just too complete you the jokes would you know we, business cheeseburger day you were saying enters yeah. better so suits water monitoring day <laughs> water monitoring day as well what, uh, which water are we monitoring Yes, now? now, you know, mm. water levels and all that, of uh, whether it's good enough for consumption. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, today is also Respect Day. Oh. 
Okay. Respect. Yes, respect okay. day. Uh, okay. Today is hug a greeting card writer day. Oh, I've wow. never thought of that. Like greeting I don't card understand. writer. No. So you know the the, the whole hallmark. Yeah, movement. yeah. You know there are a lot of poets, writers who, in the end, never used to make money and started mm -hmm. making money from writing and making cards. True. And it was also said that they were also considered a, a very depressed people, hmm. because they were always writing messages to other and people and they probably didn't have that they, kind of life they themselves. never even received those kind yeah, of messages and then yeah. the last two read an ebook day an e -book. And yeah so many of us have this one the very read, last one read an ebook first e day. love day first love day really first love i don't know man yeah, well Do you know how many people <laughs> realize that the person they married was their first love uh, They'd been deceiving themselves that they were in love with other people <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we well, mistake infatuation for love sometimes Man, that's well, too dig. It's too dig a, a you're looking topic for, to if you're looking talk for the, about today. If you're looking for the meaning of love, just read, you know, 1 Corinthians 13. Okay. This is not a regular sound you hear in the kitchen when preparing a basic meal. This can only be heard when preparing pounded yam. Inyo, as it's commonly called in the western part of Nigeria, is made from pounding yam repeatedly with a pestle inside a mortar. It is a traditional meal that is embraced in almost all parts of Nigeria and even in some African countries and it's mostly prepared for special occasions. <laughs> Sunday Jenyo resides in Lagos, Nigeria. He is so passionate about pounded yam that he decided to start making pounded yam for commercial purpose. That was a day I went for events. So I noticed the way they are serving me and the way their pounded yam look like. But when I got there, they served me part of the yam, and the vegetable they even served with it. It's watery. I can do more that's even more better than what, I'm, what they are serving in this event. So that is when I discovered that, let me do this thing. Before preparing any meal, you should always be cautious about your hygiene. Why they are on cap, the, the hand glove, is just because of some people when they are eating, they will notice that they found something like hair in their food, which is not normal. Those are the things that, that is the reason why I said, let me go on a cap to do my own in a special way. Some people are using the just normal hand to taste the panet ham, which is not normal because you don't know where the hand is coming from. That is why we are using the hand drum. Now let's go through the process of making pounded yam. And did you know that you can also have a blend of yam and cocoa yam? You peel the yam, you wash it by two to three times. You now pour water inside the pot, you light it. You now pour the yam inside the pot, you now cover it. You now wait for like 30 to 35 minutes to be done. After that, you remove it. Stand fire to the mortar, and you now hold the stick. So you now stand up and begin pounding it. If you are using the pan, the mortar, so the stick, I mean, to put inside the water and pounding it, you make the, the pan jam to be look smoothly and uh, so fresh. Making pounded yam can be energy draining, especially when made in large quantity sometimes requires teamwork but the end result is always worth every sweat yummy mm. the procedure of pounding the yam itself is very systematic I have people working with me at a team so that the business will grow because to pound it is not easy but to eat, it's very sweet and very easy. I have people that are serving the food, I have people that can pan, I have people that can in charge of the soup. So I have different, different type of group. 
using leaves for pounded yam wraps are better than nylon. But the procedure looks a bit complicated. If you're determined to learn though, you might just get it right. The leaf is also is heavy to our body. When you use the leaf to wrap the pounded yam, the taste and the, the, the odor will change to make it to last longer for like 24 hours. So it is better than light on. So that is why we are using the, the leaf. Unlike other meals that are preserved in coolers, pounded yam wraps are best preserved in a cane basket or bowl wrapped with a cloth. This sustains it for up to 24 hours. The bowl will preserve the pounded yam better than cooler. The cooler can make it to spoil. Mm -hmm. Now what soup would you love to have a wrap of pounded yam with? A goosey, vegetable or turmeric soup? I guess that's new to you, isn't it? <laughs> I've called my friend to come and eat and testify and share the world, some of the Jayon around the world, both China, India, Korean, Japan, US, London, South Africa, and everywhere in the world. That's me, some of the Jayon. I'm ready for them to pound Panedia and the real one of Africa. Guess what? Sunday Jenyon decided to host some people in his neighborhood to have a taste of his pounded yam and they all enjoyed it. <laughs> Who knows, it just might be the one to serve you pounded yam at your next party. And if you love eating pounded yam, you might try making some, perhaps just for the fun of it. Alright, that was a very interesting one. She certainly had me craving pounded yam right now. <laughs> well, it's time for another performance on Wake Up Nigeria. And this time, it is by Ashi Dakpo. Great now, boy, Ashi Dakpo is an artist. Uh, great to have you here. Who yeah, showcases his versatil uh, versatility uh, with um, Afro-driven bits, uh, mixed with a smooth R&B and pop high life. Now, his Freshman EP, 4AM in Lagos, was just released on the 13th of this month and it has three tracks on it. Uh, but before then, he'd uh, released a couple of singles, uh, some of which are quite popular, mm -hmm. including that you one know. he did with Maestro. Yes, we, have, we had Mary, we had Maestro on Loco, but now I just dropped an EP, it's called 4AM in Lagos. It's an EP consisting of three songs. Um, the first song is For You, the second track is um, Get Along, and the second one is um, Made in Lagos. So we dropped three visualizers for each song. Okay, okay. So Which one are you performing? I'm performing Made in Lagos. Made in Lagos. You wrote Made in Lagos or yes, you bought yes, the song? Yes, I did. No, I wrote, I wrote you, Made in Lagos. You wrote it yourself. That's what inspired me. Made in Lagos? Um, you know, um, it was, you know, when, when I first recorded the song, yeah. I sent it to my management and they said it was too vulgar. So I had to retouch it and change it. You know, I just, I just like Lagos City, basically. I like the vibes Lagos bring, you know. Mm -hmm at night. So that's why I named the EP 4AM in Lagos because Lagos is a very beautiful city in the morning at night. Yes, it can be really frustrating, mm -hmm. but it's still really dope. So Lagos inspired the EP basically. So I just felt now I should have do it. You're known for your changing hairstyles. Like <laughs> yes, the, this hairstyle and the next moment is another hairstyle yes, and uh, all. Yes, uh, but uh, you've been carrying this one for longer than you're known for. Is this mm -hmm. supposed to be your new identity now? Uh, this is a new movement now. This is a new movement. This so is gonna be the loop it. now. Yeah this is going to be the uh -huh. loop so no more changes. Um that's not predictable. We never can say when I can just switch it up. When you get fight, it's somewhere to be easy to get you. We'll, we'll <laughs> let you perform many Lagos for us right now. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> look, 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 look for your body. Had a television, television, your body. So far, so good. Wake Up Nigeria has been great today. Wow. It's, uh, yeah? it's, it's been a long morning already. But <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still doing it. And we're still excited as, as we started at 6 a.m. Yomi always has these comments laced with on that underlying tones of, I don't know. I, I don't didn't know. say anything. Yeah, I just, exactly. 
Well, you said a lot. I'm not <laughs> saying anything. But uh, Wednesdays are always full of amazing segments. We have uh, an amazing guest right here in the studio with us, Etinosa Idemudia, mm. Nigerian actress, filmmaker, content creator, and of course, social media sensation. Mm. Yes. She is best known for her online comedy skits, which she uh, produces and shares on her, on her Instagram page. Uh, but her breakout role on screen is as Amanda on the sitcom Chaman. Mm -hmm. We had her here, was it uh, uh, last year? A while year? back, yeah. Last year with Washaman, uh, right? Yeah. Oh, welcome. Uh, she's, she's joining us this morning. You know, she told me just now, I said, you know, when she came in and she was sitting and she was greeting everybody and you know, yeah. being all gentle and yeah. humble. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, you look gentle yes. in person, mm -hmm. uh, but you're a troublemaker on social media. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, um, no. I'm gentle in person, like I'm really, wow. I'm actually shy in person. Oh, please, can you please <laughs> break out of that? That you know what Give I'm talking five about. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. Sister, <laughs> how far? I do. This your work has entered another level. Um, so now you you are working on something really great uh, as writer, producer, and actor. Tell us a bit about it. So um, the title of this project is Game Up. Mm. It's about a criminal couple. Mm. That <laughs> criminal couple. Yes. Yeah, so ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's, that I used to depict the present situation of some of the youth in Nigeria okay. presently, you know, that, you know, they're into, in their heart, in their mind, justifiable crime. Okay, I'm some kind of Robin Hood. I'm stealing because the government is this and that. Mm -hmm. I'm stealing because other people are stealing from us, mm -hmm. trying to make crime good. Mm -hmm. So, um, Game Up was my way of showing these people, what they look like, mm. wow. you know, mirroring them to themselves, like, okay, this is wrong, no matter how you want to paint it, fraud is very wrong, and it's affecting our reputation as a society, as a country, and then also try to show the consequences for such actions, and even sometimes when you get out of it, your past crimes can still come to haunt you. Wow. So that's what Game Up is basically about. Can you very see nice. how serious she, she has She looks become. very serious. You, very serious. you know, there's many sides to her. Like, <laughs> uh, and, and I'm always curious to know what, <laughs> so how do you, are you a project? Like, you know how you wake up and you say to yourself that, okay, this is who I'm going to be today. Is that what it's like for you? Or is it just the way you feel um, uh, I, when, when you get up? I think... Everything, everything about me is highly spiritual. Like my alter ego, the troublemaker that you know. Mm. That, that everybody one, knows. Nah, not everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that many people know. That character comes, or that alter ego comes when, when she's needed, okay. when there's a trigger. But naturally, normally, I'm like this. This is a tears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. so one, me laugh. one thing I've always right. wanted to ask you is, you know, you are because of your social media persona and the fact that you respond to people um, online, mm. is that also a way of defending yourself? Because you feel, look, mm. I'm my best defender in any, in any situation. Uh, yes, I'll say yes, um, defending myself. And then I'll say it's another way of making people understand that celebrities are human beings. I am a human being, I have feelings. You can't just say, oh, you big head, stupid, da -da -da, and you think, Tell you pretty, don't reply, just ignore, mm. ignore. It's not, ignore how many, how many do you want to ignore? You know, you who is saying ignore, can you ignore? If you can't ignore, then why do you think I can't ignore? It's the same blood that's in our veins, you know? Mm. So sometimes I reply to show my human side, you know, I'm only human, but uh, lately I've been um, what? advised. <laughs> <laughs> so increase my strength of ignoring. Oh, wow. So I'm not replying again. Nobody should try me. Oh. <laughs> I, I said I'll not reply, but please don't test me. <laughs> Thanks, I'm gone. So yes. you will not reply, but she didn't test you. Um, yeah, it's okay. not fair now. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so you know, uh, the, the whole uh, social media life and lifestyle has brought a lot of um, opportunity to a lot of people. You know, mm. I, I, was that, did you ever think that this was how life was going to go, you know? Was it always in the plan? Uh, through social media, no. Mm. For me, coming on social media, starting from, was it Facebook, mm. to YouTube, to Instagram, it was all for fun at first. Okay. And then, you know, people started discovering my work and, 
it started getting more serious and more professional. Mm. So it wasn't really the plan in the first place. Mm. But it, it worked out but well. But it worked out really it, well. It worked out yes. well. So, so at the end of the day, it's almost like um, a lot of people, especially young people, um, talking about social media when they start out, they just want to get famous. You know, they just, anyhow, let's just see which what works. Mm. But yours, it's almost like there's a, you now have like a destination in mind. Can you give us an idea of what that destination is, where you're going mm. now with everything that you do and the essential etinosa? So for me now, I think I've come to see what works for me. It's um, comedy, mm. comedy and <laughs> beauty. <laughs> you didn't see that. She's coming out now. <laughs> the other person is coming out now. So. <laughs> okay. so I know that that works. So um, that's why I'm channeling, channeling my energy and resources into mm. comedy and yeah, drama. But that's outside social media, my movies. Mm. That's a different um, right. thing in time. But for social media, it's comedy and we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see her in action in a clip uh, yeah. in uh, yeah. the next few seconds. Uh, let's take a look. We show ourselves to cook. Eh? See, you are handsome and you are befitting for all <laughs> his girlfriend now came because he was trying to tell her <laughs> that he had a girlfriend, but she wasn't listening. Okay. She kept oh. <laughs> That's why he's like, hey, she has come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, all right. So uh, you just got a little snippet of yeah of of her persona. You should, you should check out if you're not following it tonight. Yeah. You should check her out. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, on on Instagram. But um, there's there's a meal that we've been preparing oh, all know, morning. <laughs> chop this life. Yes, yeah, so we have to chop the life. To let's go. Life. Let's sashay our way to the kitchen. Oh, since he yes. insists. Yes, please. Let's go. Please uh, go ahead. Thank you. That's the wrong way for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> She's literally sashaying away. Thank you, thank also, you. That's, that's what it's called? It's a, yeah, it's like, you sashay. Okay, okay. yeah. You sashay. Okay. Please take a seat. Thank you. S sashay our way now to Now that us. looks yeah. amazing. Ooh. It does, right? Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Now the walk away. All my hard work. work All my hard work. By the way, am I allowed to say that her, mm. her, her mother-in-law is upstairs <laughs> watching? Oh, wow. Or her sister-in-law is oh, like, okay. <laughs> If they don't pack food, call our husband. Oh. <laughs> All the money we used to take out to London. I, I saw right. you when I was coming in. in. Oh, nice okay. Nice okay. We have to, to talk to about this food now. I'm so sorry. I, I'm so used to Mary being uh, in the kitchen oh, yeah, as yeah, I yeah. arrive. She, yes, she, she I completely forgot. blanked there. But uh, Chef Yeide has been hard at work. And she's put together spaghetti okay. and meatballs. Yes. Yes. So, so um. Etiosa is yeah. going to taste that mm -hmm. while you give us a little breakdown of what's in here. Okay. Shop, shop. So in here we have the spaghetti, the meatballs, marinated with paprika, garlic, um, hot curry spice, coriander. Ooh. And then we have the olive oil that I used yes, to so. bake the spaghetti <laughs> and the carrots and everything. Beautiful. Together Beautiful. with the peppers. And we came up with this. Mm. So now... We She's already digging in. You guys, don't yes, worry. So. She's I love out, so. the color. I love the flavor. Or rather, I love how it's, you know, how the, the fragrance. Yeah. Um, the, you know, not like the, the flavor. The, I'm not supposed to have tasted it now. Why are you outing me? Why are you outing me like this? Oh, she's supposed Step to be pretending like she hasn't had hey, it. Some people are just tuning in now. You know, I have to code myself, you know. Anyway, I'm, while, while all that's going on, and it's just, so it's just, it's okay. Mm. <laughs> and Big thank you to our friends over at Homely NG really for the nice. kitchen accessories. Thank you. So yes, and, indeed. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in today. We appreciate you. We love you. Please thank hit us up you. on social media. Thank Use you, our Chef hashtag. Yeide. Thank you, guys. Well, wake up, Nigeria. Not wake up. Wake up, Nigeria on TVC. Yeah, your view is next after this. Yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, stick around. Bye. 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 Bye.